So let's look at CVs. Now listen, there's a, a whole load of advice out there on how to write CVs. The reason I've included this, um, instead of you going off to your careers department, is that consulting CVs are slightly different to normal CVs. Um, number one, uh, they, uh, they, they must focus on you. So it's less about the team, it's more about you and what you achieved. Number two, we're talking about one page. Generally, if you're a graduate, you're talking one page unless you've got 15 years work experience and a whole host of major achievements. Bear in mind that your CV is probably going to be looked at either by an HR person who has 5,000 CVs to look at that week or by a graduate, possibly from your university, um, who has got into that company and they've got 100 CVs to look at in one evening. So you're going to be getting like 20 seconds to make a major impression. So I've listed here what I would call the hygiene and motivator factors. Um, now, for those of you that remember Hertzberg, the hygiene factors are the basics that you need just to get across the main hurdle. The motivator factors are the things that really get you extra points. So if you don't have all of the hygiene factors, your CV is going in the bin or in the uh, bin tray. Um, if you have the motivator factors, then it's more likely to get you extra points. So hygiene factors, one page long, 10 to 12 point size, don't cram loads of information in. It's a big mistake, I see a lot of, I mean, nobody's interested um, if you played hockey for the university. No, nobody cares if you waitressed, um, uh, unless you've achieved something specific. And this is absolutely crucial for the consulting CV. It's all about your achievements, what you changed, not what you did. And those things are very different, so don't talk about the role that you've done, talk about the achievements that you've made. Uh, no photo, and if they specifically ask for it, which these days they probably won't. Um, use action words. I'm going to provide a whole downloadable list of action words that you can liberally drop into your CV so that if your CV gets scanned or you have an online keyword search, um, your CV is going to pass quite easily. You don't need to worry about that too much. Um, it's more of a recommendation that the machine gives or the algorithm gives rather than your CV is going to go in the bin. Emphasize both your soft and analytical skills. They're not looking for nerds who, can, uh, who are brilliant at math but have no interpersonal skills. Similarly, they're not looking for salespeople who can simply talk but can't actually do any analysis. So emphasize both of those. Um, and no mistakes. Um, and also great alignment and spacing. Um, there's nothing worse than getting a CV and just going, oh, that's hideous. I've put a load of samples up there for you to look at. Um, by all means, use the templates to create your own CV, but you really want to be making a great impression. If something looks bad, it looks unprofessional, your CV is going to go straight in the bin, even if there's good things in there. In terms of motivators, things that are going to be getting you great marks, um, uh, good grades, obviously, brand names. So have you got a great, you know, you need, you don't need a brand name, but you know you get extra points. Um, there's going to be a marking sheet that I give you. What these, um, what the recruiters typically do is have a mark sheet and go through it. I've uh, got one of those mark sheets that I used to use. Um, I'm going to share it with you so that you can download it and mark your own CV. Brand names. Do you have Harvard? Do you have Facebook? Do you have uh, Google as an employer? Um, do you have Deloitte as an employer? Have you done internships? Um, so if you don't have sort of top tier brand names, don't worry, next tier is fine. But you really want to be thinking quite early about getting these brand names on your CV. Quantifiable achievements. Consultants love when consultants talk to clients, they say, we're going to use this many people over this amount of time to save you this amount of money in this way. It's all quantifiable. Now, I, I do recognize that things are difficult to quantify, but the more you can do that, the more that you're going to sound like a consultant. Um, and the more that they're going to like you. If you've got languages, fantastic. In this day and age, so much consultancy is multinational. If you've got one or two, uh, if you've got two or three languages, um, fantastic. Emphasize it. Focus on your core competencies. I'll talk about those later, but in effect, they are uh, teamwork, leadership, uh, personal impact, making a difference, and communication. Um, all the consultancies call them something different, but you need to ensure that your CV talks to those competencies that they really come through. Do you sound like a consultant? Are you professional? Do you quantify things? Do you talk about what you've changed and your achievements? These are um, examples of what you should and shouldn't do. Um, so typically on a CV that I see, you'll be, saying, you'll be seeing somebody saying, um, I organized a team of volunteers. Well, that's lovely, but it doesn't really tell me anything 
about uh, what you achieved. So a good example of what you might put in is I organised a team of volunteers to provide services to a non-profit organisation leading to a 50% increase in fundraising or a 20% decrease in costs or faster turnaround times or improved operations or whatever. Some way of showing that you had a personal impact and that you uh, can quantify that. So it's really moving from roles to achievements. So don't say that you, uh, you waitressed or you waited at an organization. Say what you changed. Uh, what did you do in the kitchen? Did you improve customer service? How did you do that? How did you measure it? That's the type of thing they're looking for. And obviously the better your example, um, uh, the better for you. Um, but uh, you know, any example will do. Any example is better than just listing what your roles were in different organizations. Now I mentioned the key competences before. Uh, problem solving. Can you overcome obstacles? Can you create solutions? Can you analyze things? Achieving great things. What have you done? Have you rowed across the Atlantic? Did you climb Ki Ki Kilimanjaro? Did you change someone's mind? Did you make a difference in society? Um, what's your orientation to change? Do you embrace change? Are you the type of, thing that, are you the type of person that makes things happen? So they're looking for uh, leaders, entrepreneurs, people that can show they've taken the initiative, people that challenge traditional thinking. Now, you might be thinking, hey, that, that sounds like a superman or a superwoman, and I'm not there yet. Um, but you need to at least have examples that show that you could be there. Um, and it's really about changing that, that traditional CV, which is just a list of the roles that you've had, um, to thinking about what are your achievements, um, what are your competencies, and how do you measure them? Leadership, examples where you've taken control, where you've communicated a vision or created a vision, you've made something happen. And talk about you. So I realize it's traditional to talk about we and the team, but in consulting CVs, they want to know about you. Um, in terms of the competencies, leadership is generally placed higher than teamwork. They want somebody that, as an individual, could go into a client team, take control of the situation, and lead their way out of the problem. Um, teamwork is great, um, obviously communicate, all of, these, all of these competencies are great, but they, consultancies generally are looking for people that can uh, illustrate that they take control, that they have confidence in themselves, um, that they are innovative and creative and will make a difference themselves. So this is an example, this is a fairly standard CV, it's not particularly way, well uh, presented, but it's fine, it's kind of lined up and there's a good alignment there. There's um, a, a quantifiable description of what they've achieved. So, for example, uh, in their work with a repair cafe, they quantify the carbon savings that they've made. And that's the type, type of thing I'm trying to get across. Really try and quantify what you're doing. Feel free to look at any of the CVs that I've posted that you can download. Um, Word, Microsoft Word now um, has some really good CV templates. I never thought I'd say that, um, but certainly in the last few years, the templates have really come on. Um, at the worst, use those. Um, and, and certainly look at some of the ones that I've, I've presented for you um, for download. Um, now, there, you also need to consider your consulting CV in the digital age. This means that, um, first of all, in an interview situation, they are going to drill down on your CV. And before they do that, they're going to check your uh, social media profile, they're going to check your LinkedIn profile, and they're going to search your name. So don't say that you led a team to success when actually you are only part of that team, because they may find out. Um, uh, on, on that note, ensure your LinkedIn profile is great. Um, there's lots of, lots of students, I'd say 80% of students that I research, um, they, uh, they, their LinkedIn profile just simply either doesn't exist or it's empty. Um, you want to reassure your employer by using your LinkedIn profile that they are right in believing that you are a good fit for the job. So do ensure that your CV is re reflected in your LinkedIn profile. Um, also ensure that your social media is clean. I'm sure you've had this rammed down your throat. Um, but I have heard of instances, especially in the US, where people at interview are asked for their Facebook passwords. Um, now, uh, Personally, I would say no, but I'm not, I'm not an American, so I don't know how normal that is or prevalent that is. Um, that would be quite rare in Western Europe, but still you want to make sure that um, there are no risks. Convert your CV to PDF. It just looks more provo um, professional and also avoids people opening it in a different uh, piece of software that uh, will change the formatting. Uh, keyword scans still happen. Um, 
but they're not as important as a lot of people think. I've provided a list of keywords that you might want to use in your CV, but they're all the things about achieving, uh, leading, uh, team working, objectives, goals, all of that type of stuff. So it's really getting you into the mindset of becoming a management consultant.